Hello YouTubers, this is EAS3964 here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use color tables within your AWIPS, how to, how to change them. Uh, so the first thing you're going to you need is a color table. Now there are multiple uh, there are multiple ways to um, to find your color table. Uh, the first would be to just use an RGB color pick, RGB color picker uh, on your whatever your site is and uh, select the beginning and um, beginning and end of the range that you need. Now the second way is to uh, use a GR level X color table. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to want to do with a GR level X. Uh, you're going to want to go to your wherever you store wherever you find the ones that are stored for you. Uh, you can I go to I usually use allmanydesigns.com/grx um, and then you can find reflectivity, velocity, mesoanalysis, type, satellite. It gives all kinds of uh, all kinds of color tables. So we're going to be editing a uh, reflectivity uh, color table in this in this uh, in this tutorial. So we'll click on reflectivity and we'll let it load, and it will give you all of these reflectivities. Uh, we can move all of these around, and then uh, find the one you want. Uh, for instance, the one that uh, I'm going to want to use, I'm going to go with probably the National Weather Service Louisville because I like having the blue. This is just personal preference. You can select whatever you want. Uh, you can also do whatever you want because it's your color table. So the so what we're going to want to do is view the code. So we get these color. We get these. Uh, basically, it's just a bunch of numbers, and I'll explain what they mean here in a couple minutes. So now, uh, m make your uh, web browser small again, and go into AWIPS and load reflectivity data. Um, so the f next what we're going to want to do is right click on the uh, title and go down to uh, change color map and you're going to want you're going to want to set the color table range uh, based on what's here so lowest would be negative 30 and the highest would be 95 95 and we'll click okay So we'll just do 94.5, about 94.9. Eh. So we'll just do 94.5 and call it that. All right. So now that we have our, um, now that we've changed our values, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and view the ranges. So you have the base dBZ value as the first number. The RGB uh, code as the lower portion and then the upper portion is going to correspond with this R this RGB code and this DBZ value right here. So the upper is going to be the last group of three numbers and the first number in the next line. And you'll notice that the uh, step portion, it's uh, this is for GR level X, so we will just go ahead and uh, ignore that for a while. Actually, we don't need it. So we will, we'll go back to the line, and we will do edit colors, and you'll get this uh, radar slash storm clear reflectivity, because that's what it's going to default to. And we'll move this down to negative 30, and we will bring this to zero, the lower the lower slider will bring to zero and we'll get it as close to zero as we can. So it looks like 0 0.028 is going to be it. So what you're going to do is find the lowest color, so there's a group of three, and plug it in up here. So the lowest, the uh, lower color is going to be going into the upper color because that's where everything goes. So, for the upper color, we are going to do 0, 0, 0 for the RGB value. And for the lower color, it looks like it's going to be 128, 128, 128. So, 128, 
one two eight and one two eight and if we do that it will only do the first couple it'll only do those values as that color so what we have to do is we have to click interpolate and you'll get um, as a matter of fact you may have seen the uh, the image behind me change or behind the radar change uh, so um, yeah you can see lower DB, dbz values uh, very far outside the regular dbz value range so now what we're going to do is from 0 to 5 we are going to move this to 5 as close to 5 as we can get and you can use these little buttons down here to uh, get as close as you can and then this will go to the edge of this Point two oh eight and five point oh seven five is as close to five as I can get. So from zero to five, the color table is going to be these two. So the lower color is going to be two oh five, two fifty, and two fifty four. And the upper color, or lower color on this one, is going to be fifty four, two fifty two, two fifty five and we'll go ahead and click interpolate wow <laughs> that was interesting All right. so now that we've got that done we will do 5 to 20 20.31 is as close as we're going to get. I like to go over just in case. So, it's going to be those. So, 5, 3, 245, 253, and lower color is going to be 58164. interpolate wow that did it and you can see that you can see it'll change uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the uh, the video just so I can get this all finished I'll come back when it's finished all right so now that we have the color table set um, we can do one of two things uh, we can either save the current uh, reflectivity table or we can save it as a new one uh, I'm personally going to save it as a new one because storm clear reflectivity I do sometimes still use it so what we'll do is you can name it whatever you want I think I chose the Louisville so we'll do this in the US so name it whatever you want click OK and exit out. And that is how you uh, change color tables within your AWIP system. Hopefully this has been helpful. Um, if so, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you want to do. Um, or don't. It's up to you. Um, but hopefully you found this helpful. And I will be seeing you in another video. Adios, amigos.